Hi, my name is Julia and this is Space Daily News Channel. The Indian GSLV Mark III rocket, the most powerful rocket in use by the Indian Space Research Organization, successfully launched a 36 one-web satellites on October 22nd from the Satish Dhawan Space Center. The mission was the first for one web since February, when Russia invaded Ukraine. It was the fourth orbital launch for Indian GSLV Mark III rocket and the first commercial multi-satellite mission of its kind for the Indian rocket operated by the New Space India Limited. OneWeb is building out a constellation of 648 broadband satellites. Before today, 426 of those spacecraft had reached orbit. All of them are top Russian-made Soyuz rockets operated by the French company Arian Space. But the ongoing Russian invasion splintered that spaceflight partnership, forcing OneWeb to look elsewhere for rocket rides. The London-based company quickly found some. OneWeb announced in March that it had signed a launch contract with SpaceX, then revealed a month later that it has signed a similar deal with New Space India Limited. The launch was the first under this contract, and the GSLV Mark III rocket apparently performed well in its role. Less than two hours after launch, all 36 OneWeb satellites had been successfully deployed in their intended orbits. OneWeb's 36 satellite payload weighed more than 6 tons, making it the heaviest payload yet for the GSLV Mark III rocket. The 143-foot-tall GSLV Mark III is the most powerful launcher in India. The three-stage rocket is capable of delivering up to 7,600 pounds of payload to low Earth orbit and 8,800 pounds to geostationary transfer orbit. OneWeb already provides internet coverage to Earth's northern reaches, servicing customers who live above 50 degrees north latitude. That coverage will go global when the full constellation is assembled, a mark that OneWeb plans to hit next year. Space Daily News, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe!